Hello everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Today, we're gonna finish up the main missions of Noki Bay. This... Oh boy. And as you can tell, I don't think I need to let you know what's coming up. You, you all know. It's Shadow Mario. Once again. This one... I don't know. It can be... Either... I don't know. It, I definitely classify it as being one of the harder ones. But... Yeah, I definitely cla yeah, I would definitely classify this as one of the harder ones. Mainly because he likes to climb a lot. He likes to climb this part, so... And it's... It's easy to fall off. Not as easy as in Rico Harbor. But still, this one actually takes me, mm, I'd say, a lap and a half. Thankfully, he's not that bad. Yet, the, yet I do get hit by him. I did get hit by him two times. He's definitely annoying. Would you please just stay still so I can spray with you with water that somehow kills you? Oh, well, he's not really dead. I'm looking too deep into this. <sighs> yeah, after fighting him five times, it, it, you're, it's kind of hard to find stuff to say about, about these fights. Now make that six times. Anyway, with that, on to the next mission, which is... Can definitely be quite annoying. I'm pretty sure you're wondering how I was able to... Why I'm not losing... Losing my head with these missions. Well... Okay, that was a pretty poor choice of words, because these are... This is post-commentary here. Anyway... This mission here, we're going back back to the place where we fought Mr. Eel. Mr. Eel. Well, not really fought, but more like help. As he, we cleaned his teeth. And I bumped my head. Great. Anyway. Anyway, when we get down there, there's a, a fish entirely made out of coins. And he has eight red, eight red coins. We have to collect them. And periodically, he will break apart. Scattering all those coins. Thankfully, I don't even find it too terribly. Hmm. Thankfully, I don't. Hmm. Thankfully. <sighs> Alright. Thankfully, I don't find it to be too terribly annoying, but I can see why other people would. 
That's, a, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, anyway, the last four coin, four blue coins are in this area. I really... Mm, this is um, great music. Very peaceful. It's too bad you can't really hear it because you're more focused on getting the coins. Mm, getting the coins before your air supply... Before your air supply goes... Mm, runs out. But since this is post-commentary, we can just sit back, enjoy the music. Assuming I'm not ruining it. Monkey Bay is definitely a very peaceful level. You can just keep this on in the back, keep the music going in the background. These next few minutes here is just gonna be, be me trying to find that last blue coin. And of course, I come... I'd say I come dangerously close to dying. That would have been bad. But thankfully, I didn't. I'm definitely one of those people who just doesn't like time limits in video games. I don't like being pressured! And one thing. Why do coins refill your health? It makes no sense. I mean, I'm thankful for it. It just doesn't make any sense. Why are you trying to set for? Why are you trying to say tell the kids, Nintendo? That greed is good. Well, considering that one Wario game, it definitely is. <laughs> probably are saying that. Of which I never played, and probably never will. Uh. Yeah, I'd definitely say this would be very annoying, considering that Mario isn't really good at turning. It really wasn't that big of a deal in some... In, in the first two missions that we... First two underwater missions that we did. Considering that it's... You don't really need to, but... Again. Just... Annoying. Or at least I would... Ugh. You know what, I'm just gonna stop with that. Maybe just taking the nice, beautiful scenery. If there is one thing that Nintendo always seems to get right is the atmosphere. They make an area feel, feel the way it should be felt. Just through as aesthetics and music, they might—they may not be good storytellers, but they are definitely good mood setters. I would say, as evident in some of the, in that one Paper Mario game, The Thousand Year Door. That game can be pretty dark. Anyway, the rest of this mission, the rest of this video is just very slowly descending to the shine sprites. This is such an awesome piece. Anyway, with that, I'll see you guys in the next video when we take on the secret sh shines. See you guys then.